We are approaching the longest lunar eclipse of the 21st century, coming up here this Friday. This is expected to last for more than 100 minutes. Now, unfortunately for most of North America, this isn't going to be visible. But there's going to be different people out there that are locking in with cameras and cameras that are attached to telescopes, like scientists at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. They're going to film this and broadcast this and let others see what's going on and not miss the show. Now, I filmed and live-streamed a lot of different eclipses and events, both lunar and solar. They're saying that this one will last for about an hour and 42 minutes with the entire event beginning as the moon passes through the Earth's stratosphere. And it will last about 6 hours and 13 minutes in terms of the whole phase. Like as soon as the very first shadow shows up on one side and then exits on the other. The eclipse itself fully is going to be a long one. And residents in Australia are going to be able to see the lunar eclipse as the moon sets, while those in eastern Brazil and western Europe can see it as the moon is rising. So, things to keep in mind there if you're in those countries and you're expecting to see this. For people, like I said, in most of Europe and Brazil, it's going to be a morning event. And they're saying in the U.S., the lunar eclipse will start around 1.14 p.m. Eastern Time. They're saying the maximum period of totality will start around 4.21 p.m., making it too light outside for the blood moon to be visible. That is going to be the issue. But wanted to update with some information here. It's coming up this week. If you guys get any images from around the globe of this, let me know. Hit me up, dabu7yahoo.com. And make sure to tune into Underground World News Live Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. If I have any images by the time we go live, I'll share them there on the show as well. Eyes to the skies.